Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill. When we last left off, we finally got to the final stretch of the game. We've had a bit of a chat with Lisa, and now it's time to move on. Sadly, in this final area, we don't have a map. And uh, we're not going to get one either, which is quite problematic. And I need to turn my headset down because it is deafening. There we go. So, final chapter of the game, called Nowhere. Maybe you will, James. Why did I call you James? This isn't Silent Hill 2. Maybe you will, Harry. So, luckily, I have found and printed myself out a map of this place because it is a nightmare to try and navigate. Now, it looks like we're back in the old nightmare hospital, doesn't it? Yes. Well, we've got a few things to do. We're going to start off by checking out some of these rooms. You'll certainly remember a couple of items. Like that bird cage, for instance. Remember? The locked bird cage that we had no use for earlier on in the game. Well, this is where we're going to need it. But not yet, because... Oh, hello. <laughs> I forgot those guys actually had a delayed spawn. Now, also, we have a key stuck in a faucet, or a tap, as we call them in the UK. But I can't get it out no matter how much I pull. Well, that's going to be problematic. What we are going to do is switch up to the shotgun. Um, we've got, like, tons of ammo for the shotgun. We're going to be fine. So the handgun has kind of outlived its usefulness. And we can give her two blasts. And that will sort her out. Hello. Come on, love. Let's get this done. You coming or? There we go. The shotgun does kind of inconsistent damage, if you ask me. Um... It's a bit of an odd one. Sometimes it takes enemies out really quickly from far off, and sometimes it doesn't. So, we've got a locked door. The word... Is that Peleg? Is carved. Okay. So, we've got a lot of um, rooms and doors and things that... Uh, we can't really do an awful lot with at the moment. But, remember the clock. We're going to have to run around and find some keys. Now, this place, um, I would say, I don't want to be as dramatic as to say uh, it sucks and kind of ruins, or not ruins, but it really slows down the end of the game, which it does. Um, it's just kind of like a load of recycled rooms that don't have much rhyme or reason. Um, but, it, you know, I suppose it kind of illustrates the, the craziness. Um, anyway, we're going to head into this room and we're going to go down. All the way down. Into the classrooms. How about that? But there is a reason. This place is certainly twisting us up. And we're going to find a screwdriver and some pliers. Well, not sure exactly what we're going to need a screwdriver for. But we have some pliers. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get that key. So, let's get upstairs. Make sure nothing's respawned, because you never know. Let's have a go at pulling this key out, shall we? With our newfound pliers. Now, funny enough, there's no uh, enemies in this room. However, if we come back in here later, which there is no need or reason to come back in here later, there will be enemies that have spawned. Okay. So, let's give these pliers a little go, shall we? A tool used on metal and wires. Rusted, but usable. 
uh, James. And I'm going to keep calling him James. And I don't know why. <laughs> Harry. There we go. It's kind of a cryptic clue as well. Just saying it's used on metal and wires. Doesn't really mention the fact that it could be used on the faucet. I mean, it's pretty obvious, to be fair. Now, that key that we just got was... The Orphiel key, which is for this door, I believe. Yes. And this, weirdly enough, is going to take us kind of upstairs-ish. Sort of. <laughs> it's a bit weird, guys. This, it, it's really weird, the layout of this area. Um, we're going to have a... Actually, I think this is the room. Or I think this is the area. Yeah. So we've got some puzzles to do here. But... We're not going to worry about those just yet. I think all of these are shut as well. Yeah, so we're in... This, this place is completely locked up. So we've got a puzzle here. If we go and examine... There we go. We want to be over here. Come on. So, there is a slate. The Grim Reaper's List. Mm-hmm. Curious. And we have another slate here. Names engraved on a lithograph. The Grim Reaper's List. Yes. The head count is set, young and old lined up in order of age. Then the pathway opens, awaiting them. The frenzied uproar, the feast of death. Lovely. So, they are set in order of age. Hmm, curious. Well, here is a lithograph, the Grim Reaper's list. And it looks like we have... A list of people. I'm guessing the number next to it is their age. And if we come over here, we have letters. So if we arrange those names in order of their age, you get 18 Albert Lords, 35 Lydia Finley, 38 Edward C. Briggs, 45 Robert. Roberta T. Morgan and 60 Trevor F. White. Now, if we arrange them in the correct order and take the letter or the first letter of everybody's name, we get alert. So, if we put that in, kind of an odd one that, to be honest. It's, it's all right, <laughs> but yeah, um, it's not the strangest puzzle we're going to have to do. Um, it's certainly not my least favourite, but it is a little bit bizarre to say the least. So we end up back in the storeroom. Curious. All right, well, let's keep going. Ah, what do we have here? Looks like a morgue. And right on the end there, we have an amulet of Solomon. Well, we better pack that into our pocket. Probably going to come in handy. Harry? Lisa, what's the matter with you? I get it now. Why I'm still alive even though everyone else is dead. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. The same as them. I just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa. Stay by me, Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Please. Harry.
Yep. Lisa was kind of a monster or lost trap soul all along, but she never realized it until the penny dropped, I guess, when she went down below into the basement of the hospital and I guess remembered what she did. From what I can understand, um, I think she was killed by Dr. Kaufman when she wanted out of the experiments, uh, trying to keep Alyssa alive. Uh, at least that's what I've kind of pieced together. She begged to be, um, you know, let go of her post. She wanted to quit. And, well, then the last thing she remembers is everything going black and she woke up here. Hmm. And this music is really sad and really well uh, implemented here. Anyway, we've got our diary. There is a diary on the floor. A doctor. Ask a doctor to let me quit being in charge of that patient. It's too weird. Still alive, but wounds that won't heal. Told the doctor I quit. Won't work at that hospital anymore. The room is filled with insects. Even with doors and windows shut, they get in to spite me. To the hospital. Feeling bad. Need to throw up. But nothing comes out. Vomiting only bile. Blood and pus flow from the bathroom faucet. I'll try to stop it, but it won't turn off. Need drug. Help me. I'm assuming she wants the uh, the drug, the red stuff that we found. Um, I'm not really 100% sure. But yeah, Lisa probably has the second saddest kind of fate in this place. Anyway, no time for tears. We have another puzzle to take a look at. And I believe it's in one of these rooms here. Yeah, so this astrology kind of puzzle is really mega confusing if you overthink it. So we've got some buttons to push in the middle there. We have some images of astrology signs and I know nothing about astrolo as, uh, astrology apart from it's a load of old shit. So this puzzle confused the hell out of me. Um, you know, we've got like Pisces here, for instance, uh, and it has zero. OK. We have. The ram, I believe. Um, well, Aries, I guess. And that's got a four. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Then we have Cancer, which has ten. Hmm. Take a good look at the image. And then we have Libra which has two. Now, Libra is kind of the key here. And then you have these, which have numbers underneath. So this actually really confused the hell out of me. What you're looking for, I guess, is the number of limbs. I guess tails don't count because you got the fish. And Libra is confusing because it doesn't have limbs. I Yeah, weird puzzle, this one. So, you know, the crab has eight legs and two pincers, ten. Libra just has two, you know, things, two arms. Pisces has nothing. The ram, or oh no, yeah, the ram, um, I guess you don't count the little stubby tail and the the head when it comes to four. Yeah, uh, mm, not, not, not the greatest puzzle, probably my least favorite puzzle here, to be honest. So here we have Sagittarius, the centaur. 
Well, he's got six, I guess. Because he's got four legs and two arms. So we're going to put in six. And hope for the best. Up next, we have Taurus. Which has, I guess, four? Because you don't count tails, remember? Okay. And then Gemini, which is eight. Because you're just counting arms and legs. And there we go. That gives us the uh, Stone of Time. So we're going to go take that. And if you're thinking to yourself, geez, I reckon we put that in the clock. You'd be right. So now, ooh, hello. You know, for a while, I did wonder if that was Lisa. But that's, as far as I know, that's just a nurse. Um, anyway, we need to go back downstairs. I want to keep that on. We don't want to go through there. Yeah, I am going to get a little bit lost here because this place is horrendous to navigate. Yeah, she's dead. Because I think she's dead. Okay. There's also a door that we have to unlock up here. Uh, and if we don't, we can really screw ourselves over, uh, over later. Yeah, so here we go. Right, so let's use our Stone of Time. A large stone with a clock face design on a pillar with an astrology chart hanging from it. Well, okay. Oof. Glass in the eyeballs is very rarely a good sign. But uh, we're going to hold on to that. So that gives us another key. Okay. All right. So now we need to find some double doors. There we go. And this will give us access to an elevator. Now this elevator is important because it allows us to easily switch between the floors. For now. Let's just say that. Right, looks like it's all quiet out here so far. Onwards to the main corridor. Ooh. We have some nurses. Well, I've got the prescription for them. Two shotgun shells in the face. Should just about solve anything. Okay, we're good. Ooh. Another one to finish her off. All right, cool. So, um, there is actually a door here that we want to unlock. All right, I mean, we'll come in here anyway, so we shall grab the rifle shells. We shall grab that. Back in the jewelers. The crest of mercury. Mm -hmm. And we need to take this. This is the ring of contract. Um, very, very important. Essential item. So we're going to go grab you. And let's get back outside. So. I am referencing my map here that I have. Okay. Right, now we can go on through to the other side. I believe all of these other rooms are locked. Now, sit down, love. Now, there's a door here that we absolutely, and I think it's that one there, that we absolutely have to open. Because soon... We have to turn off the power. And once you turn off the power, if you haven't unlocked this door from the other side, you can really screw yourself over. 
And now I need to work out which one it is. So, not that one. Pretty sure it's this one. Nope. Or is it this one? There we go. So if we go through this door, you'll notice that for some reason we're back kind of downstairs. Yeah, try not to try not to question it. <laughs> it doesn't make sense by design. Anyway, let's go through here. And we have some bullets and a camera. Two things that we absolutely need. Camera. There we go. There's a camera. Take it. Yes, we will. We're going to need that later to do some spooky photography of our own. Now, if we come in here, we have that panel. Remember that panel that we could examine earlier on in the game, but there's nothing we could do with it? Well, now we have a screwdriver. So we can use... Like so. And there is our key. Unfortunately, if we examine the key, there is a key. Electricity is flowing to the key. I'll get shocked if I grab it now. Yeah, unfortunately, we need to turn the power off. Right. So that's everything we've done here so far. So now we can go straight down here, I believe. Actually, technically, we could go all the way around. Um, let me just double check my notes here that I have unlocked the right door. Um, and that is... Yeah, cool. Okay, so we have actually definitely unlocked the right one. Yeah. Um, now, I didn't screw that up during my testing of this game. However, only after doing some research later on, I found out that actually that's a real big problem if you uh, screw yourself over. Now, let's go upstairs to floor number three. Now, there isn't much in floor number three, or should I say it's not a very big area. Hmm. Alyssa. Looks like an altar. Wonder what they worship. Well, nothing good, James, that's for sure. Now, this is also a very interesting puzzle. I actually quite like this one. The light illuminating the darkness. And... The light to the future. Indeed. So, if we actually equip our camera here, we can take some photos. And that will illuminate everything we need. Might have to, you know, get a little bit close. This mystical voodoo magic only works at short range. And by hitting that with the flash, it shows us some symbols. Symbols on each side. Hmm, interesting. Now, you may be wondering how that relates. to these uh, door puzzles. So if we actually look at the door puzzles, they're a collection of buttons. And it's kind of simple, really. You have to draw the pattern in each one of these that you have exposed on the corresponding picture. I actually really like this puzzle. Not the most challenging of puzzles, but it's a good one. And see, so the shapes on that painting there, right in the corner, is what we need to put in. Okay, so. I do love the sounds here. And these weird kind of point and click style puzzles. Uh, which kind of almost would feel out of place in any other game. They just work wonderfully in Silent Hill. Anyway, let's have a little look, shall we? Behind door number one, we have, if if Harry would pick that up, there we go, a birdcage key. Huh. 
interesting how all these um, puzzles that we actually found in the beginning of the game, or not necessarily the beginning of the game, but in the hospital, are only now being solved. In here, we just have a health drink. Maybe that's all that's in here. Apparently, there's like a journal that ap appears here, but it only appears if you've searched a particular notice board or something. Um, I think it's in the police station. There's a red journal. There's a botanical reference book here. I don't need to read it now. But um, yeah, maybe I'll throw that into some bonus uh, footage when I'm doing the bonus video for this game. Um, yeah, I didn't realize, but there's a very obscure, I think it's a chalkboard in the police office that you have to examine. Otherwise, yep, for some reason you just you just can't read it. So anyway, next what we need to do is go down to the bird cage room, which if we remember is on the bottom floor. We're gonna miss having this uh, elevator when we cut the power. I can tell you. So, let's go through. Now, I believe the birdcage room is this one. Yep. Cool. So, let's bust this open. Birdcage. And there is the key of Paleag. Luckily, the door that we need to use that on is just right next door. Now, I'm going to drop a save state in a minute. Ooh. Now, check that out. Invisible demons. Yes, that's what those weird larval creatures will turn into. Um, I guess, after X amount of time. So... I believe... The only thing we want in here this end room ah wait a minute no we need to come back here <laughs> getting ahead of ourselves actually I don't know if there's anything we can pick up here there's a save room and a child's drawings are scattered on the floor oh my but we can't use it but if we examine this door here it's locked thou possess them to guard thy spirit evoke five rites unveil thy fate so that is the final door of the game however we need five items to get through there and currently we have two so we're not doing great let's turn the torch back on i don't think there's anything here we can really examine so we come in here Hell of a lot of graffiti on the wall. I'm guessing that was Alyssa's room. Not great. So there's the ank. So now we have three of the five items that we need. And we can check that. Ah, we don't have the Bethlor key just yet. But if we come in here. We are indeed going to be examining this fridge, which is ominously placed out in front of us. The chain is missing a link. Okay. But there's the dagger of Melancholia. Well, we're going to be taking the dagger and we're going to be dropping a save state. <laughs> 